Hello, my name is Jim Olson and this is a number theory video on parity. The proofs that we're going to be doing in this particular vi video are very accessible to middle school and high school students. And it's kind of nice to be able to prove, for example, that an odd number plus an odd number is an even number. So let's define what we mean by an even number. An integer is even if and only if there exists an integer k such that n equals 2k. This is particularly nice for a number theory class because it emphasizes that it goes both ways. Most definitions go both ways. If you have an even integer, you can conclude that there exists a number k such that n equals 2k. But also conversely, if you have n equals 2 times an integer, you can conclude that n is even. Here's another wording that might be a little bit nicer for middle school students or high school students. An integer is even means n equals 2k for some integer k. For all practical purposes, that's equivalent. Now, odd numbers. What does it mean to be odd? An integer n is odd if and only if there exists an integer k such that n equals 2k plus 1. Remember, k might be a negative number. And a simpler version is an integer. Oops, I have a typographical error here. Let me correct this. Here we go. An integer is odd. An integer n is odd means that n equals 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So we have six theorems to prove here. Three about sums of numbers and three about products of numbers. Odd plus odd equals even. Odd plus even equals odd. Even plus even equals even. It might be nice to say that if you add two numbers with the same parity, you get an even number. I think I'll prove them separately. For multiplication, odd times odd equals odd. Odd times even equals even. And even times even equals even. We notice here, and we'll see in our proofs, that to get an even product, all you need is one even number in there. That gets you your factor of two, and it causes the product to be even. These are some of the most fundamental number theory proofs. Okay, let's do this first example. Prove the following. If n and m are integers, and n and m are both odd, then n plus m is even. Proof. n and m odd means there exist And I think I'll do them both at the same time here. We'll use K and L in the integers such that N equals 2K plus 1 and M equals 2L plus 1. And Oftentimes in proof writing, you just follow your nose. We're interested in n plus m. n plus m is equal to 2k plus 1 plus 2l plus 1. Now adding like terms, 2k plus 2l plus 2. You might pause the video to see if you can think about what the next line of the proof is. 
I'm going to factor out 2. 2 is a factor. And when 2 is a factor, it's even. 2 times something. Oops. Uh, that should be an L. two times k plus l plus one, and by closure in the integers, that is an integer. So my conclusion here is that m plus n is even. So once you start getting the feel for these, um, these proofs are, are quite nice. So here we have two even integers, and now we're doing a product. You might pause the video and see if you can do this yourself. We have two even, so n equals 2x, and m equals 2y for some integers x and y. Notice I've written this a little bit differently. I could have written it, there exists x and y in the integers such that n equals 2x and m equals 2y. There's, a, just like writing a short story, a, a little bit of liberties on how you state this. And we're interested in the product. Nm is equal to 2x times 2y. And I've got even more twos than I need here. Um, may, maybe for emphasis, I might say that this is 2 times x times 2 times y. This line would not be required. It is 2 times something. So Nm is even. Don't be alarmed if this proof is easy. So we're going to be doing two more of these proofs in the practice and two more of these on the homework. I hope you enjoyed this video on parody. Have a great day.